Bored with the same old tuna salad sandwich? A good tuna salad doesn't have to start with tuna from a can. My seared tuna steak salad uses fresh tuna that is pan seared then served with dressing that packs a punch. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as we can, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Today, our celebration is all about a salad, but not just any salad. We're making a seared tuna steak salad. Sounds good, huh? So let's get started. Is this how you make tuna salad with a can? Not after today. Let's start with the tuna. I have here some tuna steaks. Now I have two eight ounce or 226 grams tuna steaks. Now I buy very special tuna. This is the brand I buy. You can get this in the frozen section in the seafood department. Note, this is wild caught ahi sushi quality. So it's really, really good stuff. And it's really very affordable. So this is what we're using today. All I did was I took my favorite cast iron pan, got it screaming hot, put in a little bit of oil. I seasoned these guys liberally with salt and pepper, probably more than you think you need really liberally. Seared them for a minute on each side, and then I pulled them out and I let them cool in the fridge for a little bit. Now we're just gonna dice them up. Here's what it looks like, and I'm gonna show you how it got there. It's very simple. Sharp knife, a few cuts this way, not too big, less than half an inch I'd say. The idea is to keep the tuna intact as much as you possibly can. Some of it may flake a bit, but that's okay. You just don't want to obliterate it, and you see how Beautifully pink that is inside. It's perfectly cooked. It's exactly what we want. All right, easy, huh? Now we'll put this all in here. <clears throat> now to this, we're gonna add a few more things. Oops. I have some celery, two stalks. I just dice them up pretty finely. That's gonna give crunch, brightness, a little different texture. Next, a red onion that I also dice pretty small. Now, red onion is a little sweeter than regular onion. I prefer it. Again, it's going to be crunch, it's gonna be a little flavor. This is a medium size. You can use more if you like, or less. Now, I just wanna give this a little Gentle toss so we don't break up the tuna, just so that all these flavors can go together. Start marrying. Just like that. All right. Put this aside. <clears throat> now it needs a little dressing. In this bowl, I have eight ounces or 230 grams by weight of mayonnaise. Whatever your favorite is. I'm gonna add the juice of a lemon. That's gonna give it a brightness, gonna wake things up, give it a lift. Then, a couple dashes of my favorite hot sauce. Just a couple, not too much. That's gonna also give it a lift, it's gonna play nicely with these flavors, it's 
it's gonna give a little tickle right in the back of your palate. Not so much to blow your head away, but just enough for you to wanna eat more. I'm just gonna whisk this together. Easy so far, huh? Now this looks like a lot of mayonnaise, and it really is. So I'm gonna start out with using about half of it. We can always add more. But I like to make more because first of all, it's just delicious to use on other things. And if I need it, I'll have it. Gently fold and mix. You don't wanna break up that tuna. <clears throat> Ooh. I want to add just a little more. Mm. Wow, I wish you could smell this right now. Beautiful. All right, now I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap. It's gonna go in the fridge for about an hour, and then we're gonna do the tasting. Okay, guys, it's been an hour or so. My salad is nice and cool. Here it is. Now I'm gonna plate this for you. I'm gonna go a couple different ways. I have a nice bed of lettuce here. And here's my beautiful salad. I'm just going to plop this out on top, hopefully artistically as best I can on camera. All right, I'm gonna give a little sprinkle of parsley for prettiness sake. And actually the parsley will add a little bit of freshness and it's still the last, last few days of summer, it's still about freshness. All right, for my ladies who lunch, and you know who you are. I'm not gonna sing the song for you, but I could. Here we have this beautiful salad on a bed of lettuce. Delicious. Let's give it a taste. They won't notice. Mmm. Mm. Wow. You know, the big chunks of tuna have such a wonderful texture and a fresh flavor Taste of the sea, not like the canned tuna. Not the wrong with canned tuna. I like this better. I'm getting crunch from the celery and onion. Getting a little pop of zing from the onion. And that dressing that we made with the lemon and the hot sauce. Wow, what a marriage. Marriage made in heaven. You know, sometimes a boy needs a sandwich. Let's see how this does on a tuna sandwich. Now, what I did here was I took that seam leftover mayonnaise dressing and I put some on the roll of the sandwich. Just to up the ante a little bit. So let's see how it goes. Mm. Mm. Just, just hold on a moment. Wow. Yeah, this is one of the best sandwiches I've had in a long time. It's comforting. Tuna salad, tuna fish. How many times as a kid did you have tuna fish on toast? Make this, have it on a nice roll or a crusty bread or your favorite bread. Ho, ho, ho. And a little GG juice to wash it down. Mm. All right. So as always guys, we're gonna have this recipe and all the instructions up in the video description section on YouTube and on our website. And we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for Basic Skills Day. So until next time, remember, you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.